Meet Matthew Kulmadan, the Congress MLA who is making all the news in Kerala these days. A lawyer by profession and a first time MLA, he represents Muachpura constituency in central Kerala. Matthew, 45, is making headlines for breaking free of what political observers call adjustment politics of Kerala, where CPM and Congress often cooperate and move forward to avoid politically tricky situations. In the last two years, Matthew has been the star of the state assembly, relentlessly targeting Chief Minister Pinarai Vijay over corruption allegations, even when his party leaders chose to look the other way. Know the man up close with Sosa. See, to be honest, uh, I have a couple of hats on my head. But uh, while being a student, I know I was a researcher at one point of time. That I was practicing as a lawyer as well, and also active in politics. Mm -hmm. And I hail from a agriculture background. That's always there. So now, actively, I'm fully into politics and uh, elected member for this legislature. But still I continue with my profession because that is a passion for me. So you can say that I am 70% a uh, politician and 30% a lawyer. No, no, absolutely not. It was not my intention to target the CM. See, in fact, and then, uh, so many issues happened in between and uh, assembly was discussing various issues at various point of time. And being a beginner, see, it is usually the seniors who, um, who usually introduce that German motion, uh, such kind of things. But I mean, fortunately or unfortunately, when one German motion was proposed, which was pertaining to this gold smuggling case and all, mm -hmm. See, to the surprise of I mean, opposition as well, mm -hmm. the government agreed to discuss the same in the floor. So then, three of us, uh, three from the opposition can speak on that issue. In the introducing the one who is introducing it, apart from him, two others can speak. Mm -hmm. So party, uh, party decided on me as well, as the last speaker. Mm -hmm. So that is the first opportunity which I got mm -hmm. to speak on an adjournment motion, but fortunately or unfortunately that issue was with respect to the gold smuggling case mm -hmm. wherein the center was driving here. So I was bound to have been attacking uh, in the sense mm -hmm. politically under the facts and uh, the various circumstances and also why we are raising this issue and what is there in the people's mind and all. So um, why doing so, there was a reference to PWC, Sapna Suresh, Mm -hmm. And definitely, I mean, the exalogic uh, CM doctor's mm -hmm. company was also referred. And I, I honestly still believe I made a very dignified reference to his son, his daughter. Mm -hmm. So thereafter, I mean, after my speech, I mean, um, almost uh, nine or ten um, members from the trustee bench mm -hmm. spoke on the same issue. Mm -hmm. None of them. Uh, found my statements derogatory or I mean um, defamatory or I mean unparliamentary or they raised any such issue. It was the end, it was the CM who was speaking. He sort of spoke at length mm. and towards the end, mm. surprisingly, he taken my name and was very furious, yeah. saying that I was trying to say something which is not correct to and this is not the way to behave in an assembly. And he was more or less like, I mean, not only furious, he sounded very intimidating as well. So then I asked him a chance to clarify my position, which he didn't allow. So since the CM himself attacked me, who was a beginner, then I had no other option. I took the issue to the people. I said what I raised, I still believe I didn't say anything wrong. Because when he make an attack on me, it's an attack on the people of the constituency where I, which I represent. I am bound to um, safeguard the dignity of this constituency, the people over here. And um, somebody cannot say that um, the people representative from Mahjudra, 
is uh, selling, um, is saying all um, notorious things are all uh, um, untruthful like, uh, things in the assembly. Yeah. That's an attack on the constituency assets. So in such a situation, mm -hmm. I am bound to the um, safeguard the dignity, integrity of myself mm -hmm. as well as the constituency. That's why I was forced to uh, take up the issue to the people. No, no, he cannot say like that because I mean I have in fact any personal issues to the table. The issue is with us. not like personal issues at that, but then uh, you know more, more or less you are targeting his family for some, for some or other reasons. No, that will happen because his family is involved in uh, such issues. Hmm. That's quite apparent. Hmm. And that's now what is the latest thing. We, we, we never hmm. brought her into the picture, but her name is appearing in the um, in, in a decision passed by the interim achievement board, is, there, is it our fault or her fault or his fault? No, we cannot help it. See, being some senior doctor, that doesn't mean that uh, she enjoys an immunity that nobody can speak about her activities, which is having some um, uh, some impact in the public. No, it cannot be so. So definitely they are bound to answer these questions. They are shying away, that's a problem. Yeah, I'll, I'll see, I openly welcome the moon. I mean, they can investigate, investigate, investigate anything on me. See, that gives me more transparency. I enjoy it because since they go grey deep down, I mean, people will feel like that and this guy is I mean, um, quite transparent, okay. So that's benefiting me, that's what I feel. And you enjoy it? I'm enjoying it, exactly. That we can help because I mean, see, every party has got their own approach and attitude mm -hmm. and their political culture, mm -hmm. how they come in themselves. Organization culture is there, political culture is there. So, CPM, they are, uh, see, they are not for their, this kind of attitude of, I mean, targeting the uh, enemies or opposition side, those who are opposing them and bullying them. And, uh, this even happens physically. So I came all through the ranks of this uh, student politics, right from the day one, and seeing uh, such kind of activity. So I, it's not new to me. So that doesn't matter. No, no, but, uh, it's uh, too much. I mean, see, when some uh, some hype comes like this political hype, people used to. Uh, Overestimate and um, become more exacted, enthusiastic. It's only for this time. I know very well. Mm -hmm. This will come down. This will normalize. This will settle down. Then they will. They know. I mean, where I am, what I am. So that will settle down. So I am not carried away with all this. It's not about uh, I mean, being in the limelight or bringing to limelight. Mm -hmm. When we bring issues on the table, mm -hmm. and when that, and then it is people-centric issues, naturally the attention will be there. Mm -hmm. What I could, I could grab from my or I could gauge from the recent episode is that mm -hmm. the people of Kerala, the people of Kerala, mm -hmm. is dying to see someone dedicated, determined to fight corruption especially in this government mm -hmm. and also the CM and CM's uh, involvement in all this, such kind of things. So people of Kerala really wish, would like to see someone courageously taking up this move. Mm -hmm. So that is what has been seen around when I got a, a, a chance or I mean such a situation arised. The, then the, definitely I had to play my role. Mm -hmm. I, then that was appreciated. That's what I think. It's not about I mean, getting into the limelight.
Oh, but uh, see, that is something which I mean, we um, the discussion came up in the, between this happenings. Mm. But that's not uh, true as such. Mm. That's what I would say. So, I would say this issue, when uh, the issue came out like this, so the very next day people expected it to be moved as an adjournment motion in the assembly. It's a, it's a, such a hot issue. But there was technical reasons why it cannot be moved as an adjournment motion. Mm -hmm. So that, I mean, that was misinterpreted or I mean, uh, misunderstood by many. Uh, as if, I mean, uh, opposition is playing down the mm -hmm. thing and uh, we are not keen mm -hmm. in fighting this course. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I, and also, and also by the time the Pudupali by-elections was announced mm -hmm. and every, and the senior lord, the entire senior lord mm -hmm. was running towards Pudupali mm -hmm. for, I mean, the, the initial preparations and all. Mm -hmm. So in the second half of the day, uh, we, we had a lot of people who were there from the opposition. And I had got a speech at that point of time, wherein which I had to, to refer to this issue, which has been forcefully stopped. See, just imagine, if my speech was not obstructed like this, mm -hmm. if I was not down in a democratic manner, so that reference would have been made, I mean, we would have uh, uh, taken that issue to the assembly, and it would have gone much, I mean, much below the radar, I think. But they only complicated this thing by obstructing my speech, I mean, uh, howling and uh, stopping the assembly, creating all the problems. Speaker also made his soul, took it down my speech. Then I was forced to take to the public. The public was keen to listen. And the very next day my press conference was there. That grabbed great attention. That is how it all developed. So it's not that uh, the party intentionally backed out of issue. That's not correct. Because that was the last day in the assembly. Thereafter the party has got no opportunity. And everybody got busy with the by-election thereafter. But since I initiated it, I could not leave it in between. So they uh, counterattacked me and the party gave me full support. Right from the top. See, those who matters really, mm -hmm. those who are at the top, I mean, um, running our party. Mm -hmm. And given unflinching support to me, mm -hmm. they called me up, they openly came out saying that it's not a you know, lot said, I mean, doing this thing, it's party has pulled back in his He's a president. Came out I mean, and he openly stated not only once, not only really twice, mm -hmm. and in very strong words, mm -hmm. very strong words, he said, I mean, party has deputed him or I mean, um, uh, actually endorsed him mm -hmm. to go ahead with this. No, in fact, I mean, and, uh, somehow. There has got a larger feeling like that. That is true, I'm not denying it. Yeah. I mean, people expected I mean, party to mm. be more aggressive mm. on this. Yeah. But there are reasons why, uh, I mean, party was fully focusing on the by-elections. And I believe the coming days will clear this air. Because party, already opposition leader has openly said, mm. we will take it up, this mm. issue in the right perspective mm -hmm. and we are going to fight it out. So the coming days are going to be clear. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 I don't think so. I mean, see, that's all the internal discussions and it's not appropriate for even to say, come and say like this and all. And especially, mm -hmm. and then we can and such a seasoned politician, if we pass on an opinion, I am telling you, even his family members don't get it. <laughs> That's it. So he knows how to um, place an opinion, mm -hmm. how to pass it on. Yeah. There is no loose talks, nothing will come out. It's all in speculations and all this. I don't think so. No, we share a very uh, warm relationship, that's true. Okay. And moreover, we worked together for I mean, many years. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, um, he was. Uh, appointed as the national chairman for this professional congress. Mm, yeah. Then for the state of Kerala, mm. he identified me mm. as the state president. Mm. And uh, we worked for a few years. It was quite I mean, a wonderful uh, experience. Mm. And uh, to a great extent, our wavelength that also that's very well. So it was a pleasure working with him and we enjoyed a very warm relationship. 
So obviously, I mean, we were together for many uh, on many occasions, yeah. and that synergy is definitely there. We never hide it. I mean, we both enjoy it that way. So people kind of know. I mean, we are pretty close. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I always uh, uh, look a bit proud. I mean, he's a uh, iconic Tamilian personality, and it was always pleasure being with him. So there is nothing to hide. We are in a very good relationship. Mm -hmm. I don't think there is nothing wrong in it. is blessed with uh, many good leaders. That is for sure. I mean, but I don't know, I mean, is it the right time to discuss about such things? I mean, this, such things evolve organically. So it's not like that. I mean, somebody sits somewhere and desire not this thing, that thing. So there is a natural way, organic way of, I mean, uh, evolving about such things. So definitely, I mean, Tarul has got a great um, great appreciation or great influence among the people, not only in state, uh, national wide. So that's very much the, we are very happy to see that people are endorsing him. Reasons why we should come back. Ma major changes, maybe. Major changes that you can, you know, that you would like to see in your party, uh, that, uh, to rise in Kerala, you know, in the next FMP election. Okay, so three major things. I mean, number one, I would say, so being a junior member, whether I should say like that or not, I don't know, but still, what I feel, I mean, party need to be very united, number one. If the unity is there, I'm telling you, 60% of this thing is done. So you, now you're saying that, that unity is lacking right no, now? I mean, unity should be there, like I mean, mm -hmm. when it is uh, fully there, mm -hmm. Then it is 60% of the work is done, that is for sure. Then number two, I mean, Congress need to take up people centric issues. I mean, many times what happens, uh, the agendas have been set by others. We are responding to that, we are reacting to that. Sometimes by the media, or sometimes by the government or CPM or uh, other parties, or sometimes by the BJP or some other. Uh, but no, it's not like that. There is, I mean, a deep uh, disappointment mm. among the people of Kerala. So Congress should focus on uh, people-centric issues and work on that. Mm. And number three, Congress should be able to carry the flock together in the sense, I mean, uh, Congress has a style of function. Mm. So it's not like that, I mean, we, uh, we, Fight some people or fight, fight some side or fight some sections. Not like that. Congress is the party of everyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at the regions, if you look at the caste, if you look at the sections, so that inclusiveness is very important. Equally, Congress should be able to present promising leadership, especially which can inspire youngsters. Because a large number of youngsters, uh, I mean, they don't have clear politics, political views. They are I mean, very floating, fracturing, I mean, yeah, yeah. So, uh, something which will motivate, inspire, youngsters, mm -hmm. that should be there in Congress. Yeah, um, that, uh, you are rightly, uh, it's the right observation. Right? Yeah. I mean, are you worried, in, looking from the opposition party side, are you actually worried, you know, whether whether the uh, state's political stance might be, you know, might be shaped? Yeah. No, uh, worried as such, mm -hmm. but because as a political student, mm -hmm. I could see the change that has happened to the CPM. Okay. Especially the last one, I mean, um, uh, largely the CPM. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the CPM uh, earlier mm -hmm. had a different, I mean, political approach. Mm -hmm. They were never like this. Mm -hmm. They had an ideological foundation based on which they used to uh, take positions on various issues and all. But now, now CPM is dangerously playing this religious card, mm -hmm. which often creates tensions within the Kerala society. Mm. Maybe in the short run, CPM think that they mm. get some benefit, either they are politically benefited. But in the long run, 
is going to harm CPA itself. So that as a particular student, I, I had um, occasions where I examined this in detail. Mm -hmm. Then I could understand that this is a dangerous game which they are playing. Mm -hmm. But people of Kerala are much more vigilant and uh, much more prudent. So they will give the appropriate answer to them. Okay. No, no, absolutely not. If you look at CPM mm. or the left side, either they, they are not ignorant about the national political scenario. Mm. Now the BJP and RSS mm. is driving this country towards a very dangerous zone. Mm. And it is the Congress alone who can fight, capable of fighting mm. this mighty BJP and RSS. Definitely we take help from all other mm. similarly placed and uh, like-minded parties. We try to bring all them together. That's always the attitude is there. But Congress alone can take the lead. That's for sure. Because I mean, ideologically, to fight RSS, to fight BJP, without Congress, nobody else can do that. That is a fact. But they, the CPF is trying to play. I mean, uh, they are very narrow-minded in that way. To address the Kerala political scenario, try to project themselves as the champion of this causes and law. But at the same time, mm -hmm. they go very slow and soft and moody. And in, I don't know I mean, whether you have had any strong statement from the CM in the last seven years. I guess Narendra Modi have you ever heard? Mm -hmm. It's not there. It's missing. So it's, I mean, the, the, the CPM is not sincere in what they are saying. People will realize, the minorities will especially realize this. Yeah, to be honest with you, I mean, uh, we are uh, not worried, but we are disturbed mm -hmm. with the fact that, I mean, um, communal tensions or communal feeling getting more aggressive in Kerala society. Mm -hmm. It is not like this earlier. Mm -hmm. So for that, I mean, uh, Congress as a political party has got a greater role to play. And uh, the CPM, I, uh, earlier I indicated you, they are dangerously playing this community cards. Mm -hmm. So that's adding fuel to the fire. Mm -hmm. So definitely we need to neutralize the tensions mm -hmm. or we need to pay a very, play a very constructive role mm -hmm. in keeping the society together mm -hmm. and um, keeping the feeling of brotherhood and uh, the secular Kerala society. Mm -hmm. We need to ensure that the secular uh, culture and secular concept is not being taken away from Kerala society. That's very much I mean, a, a speculative or an imaginary question. <laughs> I don't think I mean, such a scenario will be there. But I would say, rather than getting into power or uh, being a ruling party or something, we are committed to our goals, mm. we are committed to our ideology. So that's definitely secularism is the first thing which we learned, mm. for which we stand, for which we fight. So definitely, I mean, as a congressman, we will continue doing this, whether it's irrespective of uh, being in power or not. Anyway, thank you so much, Sajjur. Thank you.